what's up guys welcome to ifix tech so we just changed the motherboard on this thing pack and because it's new it doesn't have any serial number that's why you will get all these pips you are missing date and time machine type and serial number uuid and also the product name to input all this info on the new motherboard, you will need the Lenovo Service Utility Tool. I will try to leave where to download it on the description. So just connect the USB tool, restart the computer, wait for a few seconds, you will hear those beeps again, and then the tool should start running and you will see a menu. Cool, so we're gonna use the first one, set system identification, you wanna press number one, enter. Number one, enter again for add serial number data to EPRON. And then you're gonna use C0 for system unit serial number. C0, and then you're gonna press enter again. So here we're doing machine type and serial number, like all together, you're gonna do one, S. If you don't know the machine type, just flip the computer and on that black tag on the bottom cover, you should find your machine type. This is a X1 Carbon ThinkPack Gen 6, which machine type will be 20Y0S0X. C00. That's the whole number only for the machine type. And then the serial number all together. You cannot put it. In this case, I'm not showing my serial number, but you just input yours. Once you press enter, you should be able to see this message. Then just press enter again. Number nine for exit and get to the main menu. Now, the second error that we got was UUID. For that, we're gonna press number two, enter. This one just do Y, enter, and that should be set. Number three, update configuration area. Here is for that product name error. You're gonna use number two, brand name. Number one, write brand name to EPRO. Number one, tip back brand name. To get this brand or product name, just flip your computer. And on the bottom cover, you should find it. In my case, I have a ThinkPad X1 Yoga Gen 6. Uh, this is mine. You can find yours also there. Let's input this. Make sure you do it right, the caps and everything should be the same way you see it on the bottom cover. Just press enter and then yes, updating, enter and just you can exit by pressing F9, enter and F9, enter again. You can press 9 and enter again and the computer will shut down. Remove your USB drive and then press the power button again. This time you will only hear two beeps, but those are for the date and time that you need to input. The machine will restart itself, you just wait for it, and then press F1 in order to get to the BIOS. Cool, so we're just gonna press F1. And here on the bar, you just go to date and time. Here, you should be able to change the month, date, and year. And those beep after you finish, just do yes, restart the computer, and you will get rid of all those beeps. 
Now we are going to run the Lenovo diagnostic option. This way will allow you to diagnose all the components of your computer to make sure that everything is okay. What you're gonna do is just hit F10 when the computer is booting. Once it finished loading, uh, you will see all the different options that you are able to diagnose. Storage, battery, display, motherboard, memory, etc. If you are watching this video, maybe you already changed your motherboard. So this is a good option to select. Let's test the motherboard, selecting the H. C to confirm and just wait until it's all done. This one should be very quick. If everything is okay, you will get a green path message. Press escape to go back to the main menu. Now we're gonna do the memory diagnostic. For that, we're going to press E. As you can see, we have the quick and the extend version. If you have time, I recommend you to do the extended one. This takes much more time, but it's more complete. The quick version takes about 10 minutes. I will fast forward the video. If everything is okay, you should be able to see the done and pass green message. Now let's press escape to go back and do the fan diagnostic pressing the letter F. This one is much more quicker and you should be able to start hitting the fan spinning faster and faster. Again, if everything is alright, you should be able to see that green pass sign. Again, let's press escape to go to the main menu. And then, and last, let's do a CPU diagnostic by pressing the letter U. Press C to confirm. And this one should also be a quick one. If you have any question, you can leave it in the comment. I really hope this video has helped you. If that's the case, don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friend. I'll see you in the next video.